Welcome back, everyone, as we play Final Fantasy XIV once again. As we just left off, we had defeated the Warriors of Darkness and sent them away after going to talk to Hydaelyn, along with Menphilia. Apparently, Menphilia has been sent to the first, a shard of the main world that we basically live on here, so... Let's see how this goes now. It seems we are in South and Thonalon again. Menphilia's doing, no doubt. And the Twelve Speed are on our way, and the Dark Warriors of Darkness too. Can I help but wonder what awaits those wayward souls? If they gave their lives in order to travel to the Source, then return to the First, would they not? Or maybe that was the wish. A wind-up moon brin Brita, huh? Hmm, forgive me, my thoughts were elsewhere. This is why I know there's work yet to be done. The crystals? Leave them to me. I'll go back into Zerak and secure them. Now much I will still be in disarray after the thrashing warriors of darkness gave them. I'd not like to notice a lone bard skul skulking about. But Thancred, you... Don't have to do this, but I know, but I want to. I'll see you at the Rising Stones. I should go and find Udi and Popolo. I must have finished searching the Masses camp by now, and not that it matters anymore. You must be tired, Narn. I know I am. If that will permit me, my lady, I would ask a question. Why didst thou become aware of my independent pursuits? I saw you meeting with the Warrior of Darkness in the Asian White, White at the Great Library. I try not to think the worst. You've never been one to confide in others, so I knew that even if your intentions were pure, you would not share your plans with us until you felt the time was right. I cannot deny that a part of me feared you had simply betrayed us. But there had been another way, I know that I took no pleasure in deceiving thee, and these sins will forever weigh heavy on my heart. I understand why you did what you did, though that but to sought to achieve the greatest good and all inflicting the least harm. Not many would have the courage to make that choice. But even knowing what came of your actions, I find I cannot condone them, I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me, but I believe the events of the day have taken their toll on me. I would like to rest for a while. If that will grant me leave, I'll gladly escort thee unto a refuge of thine own choosing. As my lady hath regained her strength, we shall join thee at the Rising Stones. Till then, Warrior of Light. Alright, I guess we have to go talk to Popolo again. They took us out here quite a bit, didn't they? Oh, it's this way I have to go. Across this tiny bridge. Well, Netmar, Narn, Alpanad said you'd be joining us. It would seem the Griffin's double is telling the truth. Insofar, we found nothing resembling a sizable cache shaped crystals in the Mass's camp. Did you perchance find one in Zerak? Actually. <laughs> don't believe it. The crystals have been all of it. It's just, I don't know what it is. I sympathize, Yida. Even now I struggle to comprehend what I saw. The thing I could say with certainty is that I feel blessed to have been granted a final chance to speak with her. It was but a sweet eye, but also affirming. Often I believe it's past time Yida and I had rejoined the Scions. We've been away for far too long. Though I'd love to leave the Griffin to his devices, I feel our investigation would benefit from your more dispassionate perspectives, and I hope that we might in turn offer your own, our own opinions on many challenges that you face in our absence. <laughs> God, it's been absolutely ages, hasn't it? I can't wait to hear about everyone's adventures. We should be glad to recount them, and Tatar's tales may surprise you as well. <laughs> Ye 
Yida, Yuda, Rigor be praised, it is you. Yida, live and standing here before me in the flesh, I can hardly believe my eyes. I er Oh come now, has it really been so long you don't remember me? It's Gundabald. I fought beside your father in the revolution. Do not think less of her, friends. It's been 20 years since the occupation sent us our separate ways. The resistance will always welcome a little, in lo little hot Alimigo. Give us hope, and young Yida most of all. Aida here was always full of fa fire, even to the, fir the first to volunteer for a mission. To the day she up and vanished, that is. There are rumors, and we feared the worst, but here you are, alive and well, looking every day older. Well, what can I say? I'm sorry for running off like that, making you all worry. It's been a long sorry, but you see, I got involved with my friends here, the Scions. Oh, sorry. You were still the circuit of knowing back then, right. Anyway, I came back to tell you, but it was all secretive and stuff at the time, and uh, as you can see, I'm completely fine. I know we've got a lot to talk about, and we will, but right now I've got to hurry back to our headquarters. My friends are expecting me. Pray forgive her. It's been a very long day for all of us. I promise we will visit again at the first opportunity. Let's return to the Rising Stones. Hells take me for giving you that mask. Well, I guess he gave Yuta her mask. Anyway, it's time to head back to Rising Stones. It's been a while since we've been there. Taking a bit of a load in here. Place probably has a lot of people here. Yeah. That's one of the, uh... New races here. That they brought up with Shadowbringers. I actually haven't seen many of these. Just kind of see, need to see one, finally. Very glowy looking bird there, whatever that is. You didn't say a word, Narn. I know. I know. Or she wanders, no matter how far, she'll always be with us. Welcome home, Narn. I trust your journey was uneventful. You'll be pleased to hear that Thancar has secured the crystals. He sent word a short while ago. Once he's delivered them safely into the Temple Knight's care, he'll rejoin us here, and we can declare this matter officially resolved. While waiting your arrival, I took the opportunity to contact you still on Krell. Brief them on all that's occurred. Also, request that they return to the Rising Stones at the earliest convenience. Now that our lost friends have been found, it would seem that it's time to discuss the future. Yeah, we found everybody now at this point. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moon Breeder. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. While I am grateful to our friends in the north for their hospitality, it is enough good to be back. 
But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people, and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companions bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the Seventh Dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. You will always be welcome here, Kryle. Orianger, and we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Asians as before. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfidia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? What will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable, and we've always got her to keep us from bickering. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? Sounds like a good uh, spot there. Indeed. The path the 
behind us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. <coughs> Alrighty. Look at them, Narn. The signs of the summit dawn. Look how far we've come. The people we've met, the moments we've shared, the losses we've suffered, the tragedies we've overcome, all that has made us who we are today. Where we go from here and what the future holds, only the twelve know. I know that we will find out together. And that ends another patch, I believe. I believe there's only two more patches left of stuff. Friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Topsiamati to me. The clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. I shall guard it well. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every party, Well done, brother. You may resume your noble duties and rejoin the others. Having battle should be our greatest yet, and I tend to stand with you all on that glorious day. True believers are so readily led. I've given them everything they desired, all of which they, they have prayed. I doubt you could say the same for your pawns. Get what you wanted then? Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected developments, but they were ultimately to our advantage. Be a host of surfeit of light or dark, a war perfect of equilibrium, is but a void in waiting, and a void is of no use to my master. I shall follow her emissary of great interest. As for the pawns whom you so pity, they have delivered unto me a gift, which I do now present to you. The odds of Nidicog. Many were the candidates considered, but by your deeds you have proven yourself the most deserving.
man of boundless rage and bottomless despair, in which a breast beats a heart with a, which thirsts for vengeance. Only you are fit to wield these odds, for will or for woe. Hmm, so it was here all along. <laughs> Isn't that the guy from the Crystal Tower? Oh, just you wait, my pretty. You and I are going to have so much fun. Okay, we're certainly setting up for some stuff here. <clears throat> Everybody ready for Nidicog uh, Part 3? <laughs> New minion, nice. Uh, Narn, just the hero I wanted to see. Would you mind doing me a small favor? I need you to meet, meet me at the Diamond Forge. This won't take long, I promise. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to worry about Yida there. I don't remember if Diamond Forge is out here in Mordona somewhere, but uh, yeah, apparently it must be, I guess. Actually, it doesn't seem that very far at all. I'm sorry to drag you away from your duties, but as I said, this won't take long. I just need you to stand perfectly still for a few moments. Alright everyone, ready to go to work? No scoring now, and you might want to close your eyes. They're all finished. The warrior's lights, every measurement from heroic head to intepid toe. Well, what'd you like to know? All in good time, Narn. All in good time. Aha, found you. 
Often I want to see everyone in the solar for a meeting. I don't know what it's about, but it seems to be thinking it's very important. Go on, we have everything we need. No sense of keeping everyone waiting. presume to begin without you, Ida. Orianger has returned to the Waking Sands, but everyone else is now present. Yes, but for what exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Alphano, so you may dispense with the preamble. Thank you, Elise. It is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the warriors of darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. Is that all? Well, then the decision seems clear. No one else has shown any enthusiasm for the role, and judging by your performance at our previous meeting, you would seem the perfect candidate. You always did have a flair for politics. Uh, I, I did not mean to... That was not my intention. As my tenure as commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now, a soldier in the field, so to speak. Should none of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Well, based on merit alone, a certain adventurer would be my choice. Though I concede she might struggle to balance her new responsibilities with, let me see, slaying primals, thwarting legatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. Sancred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Oh, oh my goodness! Your... Help! I need some help here! Taru, are you all right? Me? I'm fine. It's this poor girl who just staggered in and collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. Narco! God, how did... You stole her! Please, you have to help her. Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. We staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. Though, having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. <sighs> Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Honestly, you're too brave for your own good. What was so urgent that you needed to fight half the Empire to get here? You could have been killed! I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan Resistance. I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. 
Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belthar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So, he means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo. To have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Agreed. I should depart for Lim Salaminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred, Uldar is yours. Alphano and Alize, make haste to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She will duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. You will be our voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryle, I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. The business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice. Twas Master Louis Soir himself who taught us that such costs are not to be ignored or denied. And so I shall embrace them. When the time comes, I will make my choice, as you will yours. Alrighty then. Seems like we're going to be getting the Alliance back together again. Deal with another threat. Looks like we're heading back to Ishgard. Almost missed the place at this point. <laughs> there being soldiers out here before. Greetings, Warrior for Light. What business brings you to Ishgard? I see you. Wait here. I'll summon Sir Ermic. It's good to see you, my friend. It is but a pity we are under such circumstances. 
At least you did not inform me of the urgency of your suit. I would certainly have sent for some more wine. What to business? I thank you for bringing these developments in Alimigo to our attention. Ishgar, of course, sent an envoy to attend the council in Grandania. I can't say who will represent us, however, as the choice is not mine to make, not mine alone at any rate. Given the imminence of the threat, we may forego the formalities of a full assembly, but I will still need to consult my counterpart in the House of Commons prior to proceeding. Will you permit me some time to make the necessary arrangements? I thank you. A representative, whoever we select, will require a suitable escort. Make your preparations and inform Sir Hedelope that he is the lead on your absence. Yes, Lord Commander. Now I pray accompany Lucia to the Gates of Judgment and so make ready to depart for Grindania. I'll have an envoy join you as soon as I can. Furry speed you on your way. Moving right along. If you have no other business in the city, join me at the Gates of Judgment. We must raid to depart the instant the envoy arrives. I believe I could uh, teleport there, right? I wonder who it's going to be. Meet again as it happens. My counterpart in the House of Commons agreed that I should act as Ishgar's envoy. But I can see that there was ever any real doubt. As Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, it is my duty to sanction any military cooperation. Be that as it may, I cannot in good conscience make the decision alone. Not with the ink scarce trying the Republic's Book of Statutes. I trust you command. I, I trust you understand, my friend. Alas, I must test your patience still further by making a brief stop at Camp Dragonhead. Given the trouble brewing in the Black Shroud, I would see the garrison ready to defend the border. Alrighty. Actually, I can teleport there, too, so I don't know why I'm thinking about traveling, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it's just fun, less fun to go through areas that don't have flying involved. It spoiled me, out, spoiled me now, really, it has. <laughs> Ah, there they are. Here's the commander waits within. Why not accompany me, Iron? You may see a familiar face. Iron old Goro. How wonderful to see you. And Sir Emmerich, too. To what do I owe this unexpected pleasures? I will have some milled wine brought up from the kitchens at once, if you excuse. Nay, do not trouble yourself, Anorot. We shall be on our way. We shall soon be on our way. Lucia, a brief summary, if you will. Less, Lord Commander. Hmm, those villains hardly need to excuse their wage war. Bloody letting comes as naturally as breathing to a gar- I mean to an Imperial. Let's reshow strength in our patrols as you suggest. We shall also assure to communicate these developments to Lord Frenzel in the Observatorium. 
I see you have everything in hand. Carry on, Commander. Surprised to see yours truly at the helm. You and me both, old girl. I doubt I'll ever feel worthy to sit where, I, where he sat. Yet we can but play the hand we're dealt, and with a little help from the veterans and Hanarod's ceaseless ch chiding, I'm sure I'll muddle through. So worry not, old girl. Off to Grindania with you. <laughs> Haven't really been here before, but I guess we probably added that painting in, uh... some point. Probably right in the after patches of the expansion, I would assume. Okay, we need to go to a new Granada, yeah. We made it. Ooh, a bit of lag there. <laughs> Diplomatic duties have brought me here on several occasions, but I find that I am as enraptured by the Black Shroud's booty now as I when I first laid eyes upon it. Fear this time, however, events shall not force the luxury of enjoying the splendor of the forest. Seems we are, to, we are to have an escort to Lotus Stand. A pleasant place to discuss unpleasant matters, is it not? Yes, of course. It's like what we ha we are the last to arrive. Let us announce ourselves, shall we? That is off this way, I believe. What's going on here now? What? I guess this is just the default, I assume. Hmm. It sounds like there's an event going on, but I'm unsure of any event that would be going on.
Envoy from Ishgar has arrived. Very good. This way, if you please. Ah, and the Limsa Limsosia party as well. I had hoped to slip in unnoticed, but I see I was not the only one delayed in my arrival. Greetings, Sir Aramek. And Myrl, always a pleasure. And Nara, I trust you are well. Tis a day of reunions, it seems. But you are well acquainted with my escort. Lady Nara, I was glad to hear from Broya that the missing scions have now been found. There is much and more I would discuss with you, but let us first attend to the issue at hand, shall we? I bid you welcome, my friends. As you will by now be aware, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have come into possession of certain intelligence concerning recent developments in the region of Gear Abanya. It springs, I am assured, from an unimpeachable source. Is that not so, Master Alfino? Indeed, Elder Seedseer. Our information comes directly from a member of the Resistance's inner circle, and we have no cause to doubt its veracity. This griffin of theirs is a fool if he thinks he can hold Belsar's wall against the Empire. When the Imperials move to take it back, they will come in force. And the resulting fighting is all but certain to spill over into the Black Shroud. At the Battle of Cartano, the combined might of three grand companies labored to contend with the remnants of but a single Imperial Legion. Alone, Gridania would be hard-pressed indeed to hold back the tide, should the Garleans turn their minds from reclamation to invasion. May I once more convey my nation's deepest regrets for our inaction in the days prior to the Calamity. Tis a stain upon our ledger that I would fain remove. Elder Seeds here. I do hereby request leave to deploy a defensive force within the borders of Gridania. Ishgard's return to the Alliance shall be honored by more than mere ink upon parchment. The Doman people too would join any effort that weakens our common foe. We are few, but our most seasoned shinobi are at your disposal. On behalf of my people, I offer you my humble thanks. Gridania welcomes your assistance. It is time we set our contingency plans in motion. Is the Alliance agreed? Then let us make ready for war. Victory favors the swift. There is much to be done. The Council knows that Alamigo will not soon be wrested from the Empire and its decision to bolster the border's defenses seems eminently practical. Why then, brother, do you scowl so? I agree that they have chosen the wisest course available. Indeed, the only reasonable one. Yet something feels awry. In making ready for war, is the Alliance not granting the Griffin the very thing he desired? Any attempt to hold the wall is doomed to failure, aye. But I wonder if we have misjudged the prize for which he plays. Mm, that is a good question, actually.
But the council was able to reach accord so swiftly is heartening development itself. I only hope my misgivings will prove unfounded. Not good, you have yet to depart. I fear I had missed you. Sir Aramick. Master Afanad, a pleasure as always. And Mistress Alisail, how wonderful to see you thus recovered. Pardon the interruption, I hope to thank Narn for serving as our escort before our duties called her away. I also wish to thank our Doman ally. Give me, my lord, I was but awaiting an opportune moment to join the conversation. A force of habit may be kept to the shadows. No apologies are necessary, Mistress Yuguri. I was most grateful for your interjection when I offered Ishgard support. My nation's historic failure to heed the Alliance's pleads for Aiden is a matter of record. Even so, the Alliance leaders are plenty unprepared for my impromptu apology. The resulting air of awkwardness may have lingered longer were it not for your timely offer of cooperation, which allowed the Elder Seeders here to accept us both. I'm very much appreciated the gesture. I only did my duty, Sir Aramek. The enemy is an the Empire is an enemy to us all, and we are grateful for the opportunity to fight at your side. And full glad to have you. Pray you convey my guards to the Scions, my friends. We must return to Ishgard. Whoever is wrong with a simple sorry or thank you, must these politicians always make a speech out of everything? That's how we adults speak, dear sister. Hmm, mayhap the ones who like to sound their own voice. In any case, our business here is concluded. We should be on our way as well. We you accompany us to Reverend's Toll, Yugiri? Actually, I think I shall pay a brief visit to the East Shroud. I'm curious as to know how Popolo and Udal fared in their talks with the Sylphs. Not to mention what has been going on at Bazaar's Wall. I'll join you at the Rising Stone's Anon. Okay, I guess we're heading to Reverend's Toll. What's going to happen next at this point? Welcome back, Narn. I don't know about you, but I'm heartily glad that all that talking is over. I understand these council meetings are important, but do you not find it tiresome to have to weigh in every word before you speak it? Don't I ever feel at home in the realm of politics? That said, people have been known the change. If my brother is willing to run his own errands, anything is possible. I was wishing to enjoy the bustle of the toll. I think it's time we head inside. My brother and the others will not be long. If you're returning from the council. What if Alphanod did some other matter require his attention? My apologies, friends. I trust we have not kept you waiting over long. Greetings, everyone. Oh, Crow. How's Nago, Nago doing? She will be alright, won't she? Let's see why not. She's sleeping at the moment. Tatar is keeping an eye on her. So we'll know soon enough there's any change in her condition. Her wounds are healing well. With sufficient rest, I'm certain she'll make a full recovery. Thank goodness for that. Now, I'm happy you'll share with us the Council's decision. Each of the nations, Ishgard included, is committed to providing a military support to Grandania. 
Azurian Alliance will soon have a significant force in the Black Shroud, ready to respond to any Imperial act of aggression. I almost wish the Council would stop messing around and give the Griffin what he wants. I would like to be the Imperial cop between the Resistance and the Alliance. You do count seriously, when does that likely go to war with the Gerlonian Empire? Quite, to open hostilities without due consideration would be invite disaster. If only there was some other way to reach the Griffin, some means to convince him to abandon this reckless course. May not be entirely unfeasible. There's a network of tunnels beneath Bazaar's wall. A secret passage is dug by the resistance to provide a way of way to have Alimigo. Which may equally serve as a way in. Precisely, if we are in agreement, I would be the one to undertake the necessary negotiations. I am familiar with the route, and the resistance is familiar with me. As familiar as they are with me, you say? Say what you want, I'm coming too. I have some experience in the practice of infi infiltration. If you would have me, my service is at your disposal. As are mine, it's been too long since I've shared a shadow with the shinobi. And I do not intend to waste the opportunity. Four is quite sufficient for an infiltration mission. Greater numbers will only serve to increase the risk of detection. Crew and I will de direct our energies elsewhere. What if you love ours? I will return to the East Shroud and stand and watch over the border. Should matters take a return for the worst, would seem to be wise at hand. May I prevail you upon you to accompany me, Narn. Grandani will be safer for your presence. And while it may not seem the most thrilling duty, dear sister, may I actually remain at the Rising Stones to pass on messages and such on. To hold the fort, you mean? Very well, I suppose the task must fall to someone. Safe travels, all of you. If you have any unfinished business in the toll, pray attend to it now. I would depart for the Hawthorne Hunt without delay. The nearby watchtower offers an unrestricted view of Belzar's wall. I should be interested in the speak of the line's commanders who have installed themselves at its top. Okay. Oh, there you are. And Iron, there you are. Come. Amorous's spire awaits. The Alliance officers on the platform should be apprised of us of any developments at the wall. Nancy, me and the two of you here. You were about to sit forth. Indeed, I was about to say 12 watch over you, but I doubt you have need of divine protection, even if you are venturing into enemy territory. Don't worry, Afanad. We have the griffin by the scruff of the neck before you know it. Do make up your mind, you da. Now, a moment ago, you seemed ready to shake the griffin by the hand rather than the neck, so which is it we it be? It would be best to decide before we enter negotiations. Trust me, Papamo. I'll shake whatever needs shaking. The talking part, I think, to you. I, f I think I feel a headache coming on. Let's be on our way, shall we? Yeah, some things never change. Well then, shall we make for the spire? Our alliance friends will doubtless have news for us. Right, let's take a look at the spire. I, I don't think I've... I probably maybe have seen this wall in the background before, but uh... As it stands, uh, probably have never really taken notice of it that much before. Spire? Yeah, apparently it is. Okay. Well, 
Welcome, Warrior of Light. I assume you're here to speak of our commanding officers. You'll find them on the observation platform. Pray, pray proceed. Greetings, my friends. It's good to see you both well. Let's hope you might turn up. I've I've dragged half the watch here, seeing in the sight of you might help remind him why we bothered. Memory serves. I've not seen many of you since the day of the Grand Melee. I've borne the brunt of your blows. May I say what an honor it is to stand at your side. It is heartening indeed to see the realm's most stalwart defenders thus gathering in a common cause. Speak of which, what news from the wall? All has been quiet. Port, what seven hells? Fighting is broken out at the top of the wall. Full scale assault. So the Griffin has made his move. Someone has. What's that supposed to mean? The attackers, they're they're wearing Grand Company colors. Possible, we gave no such order. Of course, the wall was never the Griffin's target. It was bait. Been good into deploying our armies nearby, thus lending weight to this deception. Those uniforms are convincing enough to deceive our scouts. The Empire will surely think we've launched an offensive. This could be even more. Even so, this may yet be more than a diversion. With the armies of the Alliance occupying the Empire's attention, it would be comparatively easy for the Griffin supporters to slip into Ali Migo. You could then incite a rebellion among the populace within which the Imperial Reserves would be hard pressed to contain. Areas will, meanwhile, will be plunged into chaos. Now we must make for the wall at once. What, just the two of you? Our companion embarked on a mission to sway the griffin from his course, and are half likely halfway to his companion post by now. They will emerge from the midst of a raging battle and do not mean to abandon them to their fate. It'll be dangerous, aye, but the confusion will work to our advantage. If you're careful to avoid the skirmishing, it may yet be possible to reach the griffin, and if we do that... Lady Hila, may I ask that you have an airship ready to bear the signs to safety? I don't know who this Lady Hilda is, Marshal, but you count on me. Let's prepare for the Imperial reprisals, and the navigator get us this storm. For comrades, the time has come to dwell the Empire from Alimigo, and force action upon those who have turned their backs to our suffering for so long. Let this victory be the first step in the liberation of our homeland. Alimigo will be free, no matter the cost. Nice music's back. Yeah, I don't think I've really gone down here that much. It's, uh... Huh. From Popolo told me, the trailhead should lead us into the shadow of the wall. As we have two objectives, I should suggest we divide our forces. I shall make straight ways for the tunnels and attempt to intercept our comrades here they stumble to a bloodbath. 
When I do so, I must ask you to scale the wall. You know that I would not propose such a course if there was any other way, but the time for some of these passed. Take a band of your most trusted companions and cut a path through the, to the griffin. Make him see reason by any means necessary. Once we are free of the tunnels, we'll make for your position with all due haste. If anything, everything proceeds according to plan, Hilda will swoop in and spirit us away to safety. Only pray that we have enough time. Alrighty. Bellsaw's Wall. New dungeon. And we're all ready for it, so in the next video we'll be doing this dungeon, which is the last one of the patches, uh, in between the expansions at least. So I will see you guys next time.